Hi, I'm first. Wow, is there a prize? This is getting weird. Hit the like button. Hello, I did. <laughs> hi, Nicole. Uh, hi, Robin. Hello there, Aurora. With me here now, it will get weird. Uh, okay, Leisha. All right, now it's because we had too many videos. Let me put it in Slack that we're live. Okay, so how many now are in here? Um, where is everybody? Where is everybody? Hi, yeah, Sassy's gonna... Robin Swan... Where? Where do you see a picture behind me? On the candle? On the candle, yeah. Okay. Hi, Mary. Sharon Martin, Tina Bina. Caroline Connor, look, this is the pen from Hershey. And I never knew that it was a stylus and that this was used to wash your screen. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hi Jen Proctor, hi Augie, Deb on the move. Carolyn, e easy, okay, easy, teasy, Luke's chair, hi Eva, just going to take forever to get people in here, hi Carol, I don't know. T I think it's because nobody's getting a um, um, notification. Because I made too many videos. Yeah. Luke! 
Yeah, I didn't even do my hair today. I went swimming and I didn't do a thing with it. I didn't do a thing with it. I didn't even brush it. Isn't that bad? I didn't even brush it. I didn't brush it because uh, my my hairbrush wasn't even, wasn't in the bathroom either. Yeah, my dog's having nightmares. The squeaky is coming. What squeaky? Hi, Kay Smithson. Luke's here somewhere. In the meantime, I'll open one of these. I don't know where Scooter is. Where the heck is Scooter? Uh, we did crafts. We're looking for a refrigerator. We're shopping for a refrigerator tonight. We'll, we'll have a craft panel very soon. Ooh, this is a new little one. This is the one I was missing, the cat. This is the one that I was missing. Oh, it looks like a cat, like um, those little golden books were made about. It looks like a really cute little cat. I've got the little cat. I have to go and get more Care Bears. Hi, Alicia. You probably buy one too. It's Friday night. Scoots a drink. And no, she's not. No, she's not. What was that? That was my phone. Made it made a noise that I've never heard in my life. It almost like made a laugh. Did you hear it? I've never heard my phone do that. It was like, <laughs> I don't know what that was. Hey, Sass, what's up there? Yeah, I never heard my phone do that in my life. Hi, Caroline Connor. Caroline Connor. Where's that little, oh my gosh. I brought a little dresser over there to do. Did I not put it in? Otherwise I lost my little dresser. I better not have. Here it is. I'm going to decoupage this little tiny little like dry sink for the dollhouse. It's my Mayberry Street. Poor Moo had to turn around. She got to uh, Niagara Falls. It's going to take her a long time to get back here because she's going to stop at a whole bunch of shops on the way. I'm going to do a Lisa D. I'm going to decoupage something on the little doors. Decoupage something up here, up here. I'm going to decoupage something inside the doors. Oh no! They said it has a manufacturer's defect, Summerlang. Summerlang. Hi, Sue W. Hi, Carol Clark. We're getting there, 71. We are getting there. So much pressure, right? Pressure, the pressure is there, the pressure is there. One of my little clay things. One of my little clay things? What clay things? You mean that uh, Phyllis is making and sending? Phyllis, where are you? Hi, White Tiger. When we get 100 in here, we'll go appliance shopping. Yeah. 
Hey, Ethan. Ethan. I don't know my kids are. The headphones on, they can't hear me. Oh, those clay things, Tina Vina. They're a little too big. They're a little too big. Hi, Debbie Brett. Cowboys. Devon move, Tina Bina. Oh my goodness. All right, let's see, 73. You should yell ice cream, ice cream. <laughs> yeah, I made a video about it, Summer Lange. I made a video, not guilty. What sound? This sound? Clicking my pen? I'm sorry. 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 Hey, Luke? Luke? Hi, Sean. Keep hearing somebody. Lonnie Gore. 79. Do we hear 100? Do we hear 100? 80, 80, we have 80 now. Uh, for a while now. <laughs> We're the freak scooter. Brian Glenn. There must be something going on. There must be some high drama going on. Eighty-six. Eighty-six. You have songs from Annie in your head? Tomorrow, the sun will come out tomorrow. Bet your bottom dollar. I remember seeing that in the movie theater. Little girls, little girls. Hello, Hypersense. Hypersense. How are you? Kevin Leonard, how are you? Lexi Bullock, how are you? And hey, Heather. Where is our other Heather? Where was our other Heather? Our other Heather was Heather... What was our other Heather? It was Heather something. What was our other Heather? I haven't seen our other Heather. What was our other Heather's name? Do you remember? You missed the cross stitch. Cross stitch is easy. Don't try the punch needle. That was ridiculous. Hi, Grace Stewart. Hi, Patricia. Heather, whatever. That's it. Thank you, Patricia. 
Where the freak is Heather, whatever, hi Lisa H. Whisper to me. Heather, whatever. Or Heather or Aussie. I don't know who they are. Trying to figure out a new laptop. Mandy Hall. Deborah Kent. Mandy Seven. All right, so I'm going to go and pull up the site okay here we go here we go all right, so we're going to go to Okay, and let's see if we can narrow this down. Okay, so let's see what we have. Uh, you know enough about me, be quiet. Don't steal my identity. Um, okay, this one, there's no ice maker in the door. This one, no ice maker in the door, can't have it. This one has an ice maker in the door, but I can't have those handles. This one, 25, no ice maker. Okay. Here's an LG, but it's only 22 feet. I can't have that. Here's a Maytag, but that looks like that's like mine. Um, Samsung. Okay, three door. Um, let's look at it, but I don't know. Let's look at it in stainless first. It has handles that I can't use. I can't use these bent handles. Um, so that's not gonna work. Okay. So here's the Frigidaire, but that has bent handles, right? Samsung, does it have bent handles? No, that has the handles that I need. Okay, so that, let's see. The rating on it is 3.8, but let me see. Okay. Um, okay, so it's got the ice maker in the door. And looks about the same as mine right there. No, now why am I seeing these these door these handles? That's not the handles that it had on it. That's weird that they're showing us that, isn't it? That's not the kind of handle it had on it.
Okay, this is the handle that I need. I thought that, no, I can't use those handles. Okay. Because they uh, match the rest of my kitchen. I'm weird like that. No, I know models change, but the, no, this is because it's a Samsung and not a, uh, the Maytag and the kitchen, they have the handles that I need. I can't have... There's a few things that I'm pretty picky about. Straight handles on G, okay. All right, let's see. Um, 28, now here's an LG with 28 cubic feet, okay. Smart, this is Wi-Fi. I really don't need Wi-Fi in it, but... Um, but there's... Ugh, oh, why are you giving me these bent handles? That's like the old architectural series that I used to have in the KitchenAid. What's this GE? No, that's too small. Uh, frigid air. Uh, there are bent handles, bent handles. Oh, get away. LG. Oh, I do not want a glass door. No, thank you. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Look at this Bosch, though. It only has three and a half stars. Let's just look at it, but it only has three and a half stars. Let's see. Does it even have the right handles? Eh, not really. Not really. I don't like the look of it. I know, but I don't like the look of that one. And it only has three and a half stars. Look at the reviews. <coughs> Looks great, louder than expected. An excellent refrigerator, an excellent refrigerator. If you want this to make ice, don't buy it. <laughs> I have now owned this refrigerator for about 18 months. The unit itself is excellent. And if not for the horrible ice maker, I would rate it four or five stars. First, the good. We love the refrigerator's interior design. It's easy to organize your food and no blah, 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 blah. Okay. Repeated. Okay. So now. Um, let's make her problem. This is my refrigerator. <laughs> I see the problem is I love my refrigerator. I love it. I love my refrigerator. If only it would work. this one have? This has the right handles, okay? KitchenAid has the right handles. It's so funny, KitchenAid always goes with what I do. They used to have those bent handles, they were the architectural ones, and now they do these, which is the right handles. 26.8, that's the right size. 36 inch, okay. Exterior ice and water, okay. Print, shield, finish, okay. Let's see. Resist smudges and fingerprints. 
um, pull out tray. Let's see what we've got inside. Looks the same as mine inside. Same, I, yeah, looks exactly the same as mine. Hey, Luke? Ethan? Which one of you is that? What? Can you let Sassy out? Why? She's going crazy. Sassy. Yeah. Just sassy. Yeah, just sassy because she's the one that's going crazy. Me too. How do you know? Horrible. Do not buy this fridge. If you look through the reviews, the only time this fridge got rated above one star was when it was an incentive review. Oh, you've got to be so careful of that. Save yourself the headaches and the money and stay away. This fridge came to us with the purchase of our new home. Within one year, it has broken three times with the same issue. The fan freezes and then, oh, that's the same problem I'm having here. No, 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 no. And won't, the repairs obviously don't work and we have, to, yes, yes, no, 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 no. Okay. No, not going there. Yeah. He doesn't want to come out too now. All right, let him out. Put him out. Vent handles. Frigid air. Available by special order. Are you joking? This has the right handles. Here's a frigid air with the right handles. It's a 26.7. That's the right size. It looks the same inside. This item has purchase restrictions. What the freak is that? This item has manufactured enforced sale and delivery restrictions and limited to within 70 miles. What the freak is that about? Please call for our best price. Well, that's crappy. Those are the handles that I need. That's the size that I need. I don't understand why that is won't what is up with that? That's crazy. That's not right. Where'd you get those? It's got dual ice. What do you mean? It's got twin ice makers. Look at that. Twin ice makers. Power plus freeze. That's a thing of beauty, but automatic alerts, effortless glide freezer draws, pure source ultra to ice and water filtration, even temp cooling system. Why only? My grandmother has had to replace her chair because of flimsy draw handles. And this one says professional grade hardware. Let's look at the reviews. Great all around. I bought this a few weeks ago. Look, this is a recent review. And it is awesome. So much space and keeps their vegetables and fruits so fresh. Loud and freezes the food in the back. This is what I mean about reviews, right? Unit three and still issues. This is the third one we've had. Same issues as the other two. Replacements as the problem can be fixed. Motor makes loud noise when it starts. The upper unit freezes food in the back. 
Oh no. Wish we had never bought it. And these are recent ones. Keeps things cold. Negatives. The plastic is broken inside the door so we can see the insulation where the ice maker is. Hmm. Okay. Well, beautiful looking, but noisy and runs continuously. What? That's enough. You had to eat enough. How did you eat them all already? I did not eat. Nah. What? Two ain't enough. It's the extra two. Have the two. Okay. Now. That's pretty Poor finish on the stainless steel doors. Had ripples. Oh, no. Okay, I didn't mean. That's not, that's a no-go. You see, this is as harder than you, you think it is. GE. Available by special order. Special orders don't upset us. Hey, come on, calm down. This is not looking good, guys. I'm going to have to go back over them again now. This is not good. Now we have to go back over them. I'm like, oh yeah, I like that one. Yeah, me too. Why do they have to make the handles like that? Hmm. Oh, I'm getting so angry. I think I'm, there are very few with the right handles. See that case missing, right? I'm getting really upset. You know what? Why don't they have their professional handles? What is going on? Yeah, but it won't match my kitchen, Patricia. You have a hair and they suck. <laughs> How does Martha Stewart have? I have no idea. Keep your handles. Oh. 
How's it working for you, Mocha? Is it a French door Maytag? You don't have any cooling issues? Looks like Carolyn Parrish. Oh, I'm very hungry. Well, can't the salesman help me? What the freak? Kama Sutra? What? Nice to see you here. Uh, Dawn Marie. Why can't they see us? Because I'm looking at refrigerators right now. With them? Mm hmm. Uh, really? Or are we gonna, or are they gonna come no, fix it? No. We're gonna get a new one, right? Mm -hmm. We're gonna get a better one, not this one, right? Correct. Wait. We should get that Samsung phone where you can ask. It's like Alexa. You can ask it questions. I think it's that one. No. Because we need a refrigerator to ask questions. Mm -hmm. Do you think so? Do you think we do? Thing you touch to oh, would be cool. It would be cool. Samsung makes refrigerators, Mom. I know. That's weird. It's weird. I'm just trying to see if anything has the handles. Yeah, I like the ones with the freezer in the bottom and the, and the two in the top. It's like more space. We used to have one with one side is the refrigerator and one other side. The freezer that yeah. one had barely any space. Mm -hmm. That one had barely any space. Let's see. I'm gonna look up one thing. Do, 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 do. Okay, that's enough. I want to see one thing. <laughs> one second, I just have to check one thing. Uh, I'm just trying to see one thing here. Okay. Well, that's good. All right. None of it exists anymore. None of it exists anymore. Okay. That's excellent. All right. Anyway, let me, um, just for kicks, pull up the Home Depot just to see if they have anything different. Um, I'm just going to pull this over. Sorry. I know. It's, it's aggravating. All right, so let me look here. First, let me fix this. I want a nice maker. Okay. Um, I want a dispenser in the door. Okay. I want... I want... Okay. 
let's see what we've got. Let me go back to the chat. So I can't see you guys. Okay, there we go. Refrigerators last longer if you don't move them a lot. Well, I didn't move this one. I do love my LG and it doesn't show fingerprints. We had an awful time with our Samsung one. I've heard a horrible things about Samsung, good and bad. I mean, there's good and bad in everyone. But it's just a handle thing. Now there's always gotta be something. And now it's the handle thing. See, the Cafe brand has the right handles. The LG Studio does not have the right handles. This Cafe brand has the right handles. Let's just take a look at this one. So it has the right handles. Cafe is the higher end of GE. This is 27.8 cubic feet. I think that's what I have. I have, yeah, so I'd rather have this. I want to look at one that's, and I do like, let me see. I do like the look of that one. Not as much as my Maytag. I, uh, I really, when I picked up that Maytag, oh my gosh, I love the outside of that Maytag. I love it. I still love it. It's kind of, it's got like a little bit of a bow in the doors. I absolutely love it. Uh. Perfect for tea, oatmeal, and soups. GE's industry first hot water dispenser allows you to choose from four temperature settings okay. or customize the temperature you need. When it I don't need something like this. This is like another something to break. I don't need hot water in the door of my refrigerator. That I don't need. Mm, yeah. See, this looks like just like it's going to break. I don't need to brew coffee in the refrigerator. I hate the way these are slanty here. I know I'm, I want them straight up and with the thing, but I could work with that. I, I could work with it, I don't like it. Uh, and the hot water in the door is just another thing to go wrong. So all these cafe, do they have a cafe one that's big and doesn't have um, this GE profile? I always hate that. See the lower price in the cars. I hate that. Oh, those doesn't have the right handles. Yeah, me too, Donna. Dawn, I mean. No, I don't I don't need a hot water dispenser in my refrigerator.
What the freak is this one? What the freak is this? Is that your freezer on the bottom? It's not a freezer. What is this? What? Does anybody understand this? This is your freezer? Who the heck's freezer looks like that? Oh, that look to me that looks like such a waste of space. What the freak is that though? You like that? You do? To me it looks like a waste of space. All those like little drawers. What about when I make an ice cream cake? No, I can't do that. That doesn't work. They're just trying to make something new. She loves it. I don't. Does she make ice cream cakes? I'm not a lover of that. Mm -mm. No way. You can decide whether freezer or fridge. Oh, that sounds like another problem. You can decide. Mm -mm. I'm, not, I'm not a lover of that. Bottom right freezer door converts from freezer to refrigerator. Come on. That's, that sounds like a real recipe for disaster. I don't think I'm going to find anything. I know it sounds bad, but I don't think I am. She stores Carvel in it. <laughs> I hate the bottom freezer drawer with the wire. I don't have wire racks in mine. The yucky stuff falls out. And it's really, what, which one is that? I don't have that. My, I love my freezer. But I just, I don't get this. This is not looking good. What happened to two scooters tonight? All right. So that looks like a no-go for me on the refrigerators. Um, can't believe it.
I love this. <laughs> this this describes my this describes my refrigerator. Great looking, expensive, and issues. <laughs> Delivered in June for such an expensive fridge, it's noisy. It has an internal fan that operates when the doors are closed, shut off. Okay, I'm not, I'm, I'm not worried about um, noisy. That mine doesn't do it. No, mine never does that. I thought you had love it, love great, but beware of the deli draw ice. Purchased, okay. Looks great. Then the deli draw item started freezing. Love the style. See, they love the style. Stay away. My refrigerator was delivered March 12th, 2019. I love it. However, I have an issue that has not been corrected. Disappointed. It had everything we wanted in the refrigerator, except we had some issues while it was under extended warranty. Now it is out. The second compressor is out. Okay, so, wow. Well, replacement. This is a second Maytag. We like the look, the capacity, but keeping our fingers crossed that this one will work properly. <laughs> that sounds like somebody like me. Um, see, everybody says they love the look. They love the look. Oh my gosh. If they could just make it work. Bought three weeks ago and love it so far. Love the fridge, but problems, yeah, iced over. So an issue with the vat. Now we have electrical issues. Okay, yikes, yikes, yikes. I feel this one is a lemon. <laughs> really? Yeah. But it looks so good. It does look nice, doesn't it? Oh, hold on, the doggies. Luke! Luke! I wish I could just go in on their game. Luke! Ah, uh, doggies! Fabio would be reading a script. The doggies want to come in. Doggies want to come in? Mm-hmm. No, they're looking for you. Where are they? They're looking for you. Where are they at? Right there. You go but call them the other way. Who let them out? Who let the dogs out? You did. Oh, Ethan did. Why? Because Sassy was complaining. The okay, now KitchenAid. No. Some of their models have the right handles. But then we had a terrible review, right? Now the only ones we have to be like um, this, and then we saw terrible reviews, right? This one had terrible reviews? Maybe not, let me see. But this one looks good. Those are my handles. They match my dishwasher, everything like them. But then what was the deal? The deal was the reviews were bad nice unit new style fridge very roomy horrible fridge do not buy yeah this is the one horrible fridge do not buy 
bought to replace a failed four-year-old LG. Warning, do not purchase this product unless you have a lot of disposable money to spend on many repairs. We have had to pay for numerous repairs, company service calls, for things like cracked drain pan, condensation buildup in the freezer floor, water leaking a large amount into the floor of our house, water dispenser that does not dispense water. Whirlpool will not support you after you purchase. They will tell you that you should have purchased an extended warranty. We called and asked for support for a water dispenser issue, barely any flow of water, over two minutes to fill 20 ounces of water in a glass. They refused any support at all. We have already paid for this two major service calls in one year. This is the worst, is that we have all KitchenAid products in our kitchen and they still wouldn't support a simple water dispenser issue. We will never purchase an appliance or product from this company again. Okay. Move of two, how's your driving going? How far are you from Niagara Falls now? Are you making your way down? Okay, so KitchenAid is a no-go. cafe for fun. Twenty-seven point eight, twenty-seven point eight. What's the difference? Twenty seven point eight. Okay. They all have rebates, right? They all they are all the same size. These two have point two cubic feet more. They all, this one, have, these have five shelves, this one has three. Cozy up with hot water, okay, look at this. Oh, this is crazy, okay. This one has hot water, okay. This one has a freaking Keurig in it, which scares the heck out of me because I've replaced Keurigs, I've always had problems, I've had to replace things in them. They have good customer service. They'll send you out a new machine, but what do you do when it's in your refrigerator? And I know somebody that bought it in there is, and I was like, you did? And they're like, yeah, and I'm like, oh. And then this one, Right, this one doesn't have um, oh, this is the most expensive one. So, this one has hot water, this one has the Coric. I would never want that, and this one has neither the hot water nor the Coric. Why is it so expensive for the extra draw? I definitely don't want a Keurig in it. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, no. No, no, no. Do not want. Okay, so that's definitely out of the question. <laughs> now I see why I still use my chair. Okay, that is totally out of the question. So let's look at this one. This one has a hot water thing. Okay. Oh, look at this handle kit. What is this about now? Handle kit? What do you mean handle kit? Doesn't it have the right handles on it? Why do you need new handles on it? Okay, so let's just look at the reviews. If I was to get this one. Cozy up with a cup of hot tea. Look at this woman. Steep a relaxing herbal tea with an adjustable hot water dispenser that provides precise temperatures and measurements. Leave the measuring cups in the drawer oh, that with a precise like seal setting it? that dispenses an exact amount of water with just a touch. Oh my gosh, that would be such a mess. Food remains fresh longer with twin chill evaporators that maintain and control separate freezer and refrigerator environments. Okay, where are the reviews? Does anybody see the reviews? Oh, and then this stupid item. Look at this. This item has purchase restrictions. And Marianne. To Elon. Wait a minute though, it's saying that it has purchase restrictions. Why is this? Hold on a minute, let me see what it says about me. It's gonna say, sorry. can't get it. Unless I want an in-store pickup. Sorry, it's not happening. I'm not picking up that refrigerator. No, I'm not doing it. Sorry. Goodbye. So that's craptastic. 
That's not good. Oh my gosh. But let's say we were going to get this one. Let me check the reviews on it. Probably gonna have crappy reviews too, right? Here it is at the Home Depot. Did we already check this right? Do we check the reviews on it? Or I just said no when I saw hot water. Oh, gosh. After this, I'm leaving. I'm, I'm going to let Jimmy research this. Okay. Okay, fridge when it works. That, that sounds lovely. The ice maker leaks. The upper shelf of the fridge freezes anything liquid and the freezer ices up and leaks water everywhere. This is my second fridge of this model with the same issues. The repair guys from GE keep saying they've never seen this problem, but I can't be the only one with this issue. Save your time and money and buy a different brand. Had a terrible experience with Samsung and terribly designed ice maker. The GE Monogram Cafe unit is better quality in design. Hot water too. Okay, I bought this a few years ago and noticed strange noises from the start. The repairmen kept coming and saying, sounds fine to me. I had a GE refrigerator for 15 years prior and knew that the noises were not normal. Four short years into ownership and the fridge is incredibly loud. Sometimes it sounds like a small gas motor engine. And it's failing. Needless to say, I'm disappointed and could not recommend based on our experience. It is very pretty and the hot water dispenser is good. The ice compartment is too small, but that's par for the price point. Three inherent issues to know about. Okay, our home is older and required the installers to take the doors off the refrigerator to bring it into the house. Cause one of the doors to be out of alignment. Okay, well that's, I just made to find the doors only swing to about 100. They do not swing fully opened. There's no adjustment. Okay, so you're to the ice storage. Okay, whatever. I give up. I'm done. I'm done shopping for a fridge. Okay. All done. I'm done. All right, what else do we do? Time is it? I'm done. I'm I forget what other, what, what, yeah, I used to have a GE, the one that had the door in it. My mother had it when we were growing up. I loved it. It was a side-by-side -side with a little refreshment door. And then when um, I built this house, when Michael was like a year old, I got that one. And I had it for a long time. I had a Kenmore before that. I had to get the compressor replaced, and they did it. You can look for me for a car. What kind of car are you looking for? Where the freak is Scooter? I'm really worried about Scooter. Let me see what happened to Scooter. Your fridge locks, knocks when it runs. At first I thought someone was at the door. <laughs> I 
just thinking of a funny story. I sent her pictures and everything today and she didn't even respond. I hope she's not sick. I really hope she's not sick. And she doesn't know how to tell me or something. God, I will kill her. I'm texting her. Are you sure, Caroline, she's okay? Are you sure she doesn't have the uh, ickies and she doesn't want to tell me? You sure? Are you certain? Are you certain? Come on, anniversary celebration. It's 2 o'clock in the morning for crying out loud. No ickies? She better not. I, I will I will freaking come over there. Thanks, Patricia. No way a scooter on a date. It's two in the morning. They celebrated their anniversary the other day. Oh, no, she's... Okay, <laughs> you're lucky, Scooter. You are... Excuse me. You are very lucky. <laughs> Ivy Lynn. Yeah, no, I won't, but I, I probably would have already been exposed to Carol, so I... What's all the mystery with the scooter? Oh, look who's here. Our favorite troll, Open Some Balls, is here. You know what, Open Some Balls? Why don't you come on and open some balls? You have a name like open some balls. Why don't you come on up? We want to watch you open some balls. Open some balls. Where is she? You see her? I don't see her. You see her in the chat? You don't want to open some balls? You're out, you're waiting for a new shipment? Why don't you come on and show us what you have? Show us what you have. Let's see what you have. Maybe we'll do some trades. Hi, sorry. Send me a picture, send me an email, send me a picture, send me an email, send me a picture. And then you come up, once I see your picture, then send me, uh, you can come on up. Hi, sorry.
Right, Lisa? I hope so. Hi, Sandy Voss. Hi, Davida. Hi, Laurie. Remember me talking to you about my daughter in February, March time frame? She was in the hospital. Yeah, yeah, I do. And I told you I thought she, turns out she did. Oh, I remember she was so sick, Laurie, right? Crazy. How's she doing? Did you? F no, Davida, no luck at all. That's it. Nothing. No luck at all. <coughs> Where do you guys see Two Scooter? Are you guys seeing Two Scooter in the chat? People are talking to Two Scooter. I don't see her. You sent me an email, Tammy? You can block whoever you want, Sandy. But we just found out that she did have the ickies the other night. It shows on her CT scan. Really? And did any of you get it? Because you guys were taking care of her, right? Hi, Jenna. Oh, thanks, Jenna. Hi, Tracy. Oh, there's Two Scooter. Two Scooter, what the hell? I'll do a two scooter. Why do you hate me, two scooter? Why do you hate me? Why did you tell Caroline where you were and you didn't tell me? You hate me? That's what she did last night. Surprisingly, no. And I was in the hospital the whole time with her, all eight days. Maybe you did get it. Um, Maybe you did get it and you were asymptomatic. Unfortunate squirrel incident. What unfortunate squirrel? There was no unfortunate squirrel incident. What one? to be oh you were speculating mm-hmm sure. you don't have to cover for scooter Caroline really she's a big girl I am saying that there are no fridges that I like. And the ones I like have terrible reviews. Lisa D is doing well. She is home. She has a nurse. She has a PT guy that comes and she has a walker and a cane that she doesn't need. Maybe she does. No, she doesn't. Have you heard the talk about the blood? Yes, I have. There was a type A was getting hit with it harder. Amber is the only type A in our family. Interesting. Very, very interesting. 
whisper to me, honey. Some people lie on reviews. Some people do. I don't know where Mr. Balls is. He got scared. It won't fit in the space, uh, Alma. We we did a live earlier, my daughter and I. Did you watch it? Did you watch it? It's okay, Skipper. We were just looking for refrigerators. Oh, are you trying to get some pictures off the web to send me? Okay. I'm sorry to... I. Liz, I am, um, I don't know. It's boring. <laughs> I'm getting bored. <sighs> you want to play, you want to play that game? You want to play that top 10 game? A little bit before I go to bed. I'll put the number out there.
Okay. Scooter's asking permission now to do what? Yes, Scooter. Now you want to be nice? I'm going to get a small drink. And I mean a small drink. I'll be right back. Scooter got more world smallest. I wanted to go out and get more world smallest, but I was sitting on the dock. And I just couldn't do it. Couldn't. It's lame. I wanted to so badly. I know that that last box, if I would have chucked them all, I would have found hair bears. I just feel I'm going to. see me. Hi Nan Patty, how are you feeling? Hi, I'm doing good. Where is everybody? I don't know. Scooter, Scooter hates us. What's wrong with Scooter? What's I don't know. Back? Her back. Her back? <laughs> Yeah. What's up, her back? No, I don't know. Something. <laughs> Maybe I sent her, she got a little squirrel. I don't know. Something. I sent her a bunch of pictures. She didn't even say one word. Mm. She's busy with something. Mm. I think Caroline Connor knew. Mm. Did they go squirrel hunting today? They did something. They got something up there or something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Might need to call an oscopy. Hi, <laughs> Mocha 77 and Augie A. Hmm. Where's Mona, too? She was here. Well, she went up to Niagara Falls. She sent me a picture of the falls, and she said, Carolyn, where? I said, you have to make a legal U turn. And she had to come her down. So she's still traveling. 
Yeah. Oh my gosh. She probably won't be here till. Well, she's stopping. At, you know, up there, there's nice antique shops, and she's stopping at them all. Yeah, yeah she'll be there in about, about a week. week. <laughs> the realtor's getting a little upset because she's so late. Uh huh. She needs to buy that house next to you. I know. Patricia, no, they haven't called me yet. I don't know what is going on. But I put in a second call. <clears throat> Hi, Dina, I need Lisa H. And Patricia. No, she didn't, Lisa H. That's Goodbye. just weird that they haven't called you yet about that. I know, and I told the other doctor, and he put in another request. Wow. Maybe everybody's makes wonder, going. Makes me wonder if your doctor has the ickies. <laughs> no. I, I, well, I know when I scheduled my mammogram back in June, it's scheduled for September. So they might be overloaded. Could be. Yeah. Because <clears throat> my, my gastroenterologist, PA, got the ickies. Oh, gosh, did he? Yes, yeah, she. She, she did, yeah. Great, and wow. Yeah, so who knows who else got it. I had I had an appointment with her, and we did it over the telephone, of course. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But she said she didn't feel bad. Yeah, there's, there was so. somebody, yeah, Tammy got it, and she said she didn't feel too bad. Mm-hmm. Anyone They did be bright. Trisha might want to come over and clean for you, Bobby Blue Eyes. Where's Scooter? She said she was coming up. She did? Yeah, she said she's going to open the smallest toys. Well. She's not being nice. There's something weird going on with Scooter. I know, there is. She did. Thanks, Gigi. That. No, she didn't, Lisa. She's joking with you guys. Tammy says worse than the flu. Maybe they've heard about you. And in bad headache and very sleepy. Nana, you look like my best friend from high school. She is, Patricia. That's me. <laughs> I know she is, Alma. We're supposed to go look at those houses together. Well, she must be stopped somewhere with the internet since she was on. She Well, she's probably exhausted because she, she drove all day. Mm, and shopping. Yep, shopping, antique shopping, more Limoges. I think it's something with decoupage. Scooter, are you coming? She's probably getting... Oh, maybe she's got... You know what? Maybe she's got that Shelly over there. It's Friday night. Could be. Could be. She could have the whole family there. Could. Her brother with the chips and the tang. Mm-hmm. So Davida's headed your way too, it looks like. Is Davida coming? Carolyn yeah. will get there the same time as me. Okay, I don't, yeah, Davida, Davida will come. That'll be fun. <laughs> She'll be making a bunch of fake food. I showed Scooter. I, I, we, we were, Davida, we were, <laughs> gosh, we were in Walmart. And we look in and I showed her. And I'm like, there's the spackle. They make the fake food. And first Scooter goes, is that what it is they do? I thought she was going to get it. And I just thought she was going to start making it. And then she was like, oh, okay. <laughs> She's not too crafty. No. No. Scooter is getting loaded because she's bummed out over the squirrel. Oh. Patricia, I'll be that age in December.
I don't know how Scooter went away. How do you eat chips with no teeth? <coughs> <laughs> I don't know. You drink a lot of tang to get them soggy. Oh, here we go. Scooter's here. Oh, good. All right, Scooter, what's going on? It reminds the 23rd. What's going on, Scooter? Hi. What's up? Hey. What's all the mystery? <laughs> I didn't know there was any. Yeah, there was. How come Caroline Connor knows all about where you were? Is she still in here? Caroline Connor? Why? <laughs> you want to make sure if you want to lie, she's not here? Is Brian Clan in here? I don't think so. Why? None of them are in here, right? I don't think so. No, why? Okay. Oh, nothing. No reason. Okay. What's going on? <laughs> Not a darn thing. How come I didn't hear from you at all? I sent you pictures. You didn't even say, oh, nice. Nothing. Oh, sorry. Yes. I'm sorry. I did get them. Oh, you did? Yes. Yeah. They were nice. Why are you mad at me? I'm not mad at you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not mad. I could never be mad at you. Um, mm -hmm. I couldn't. Caroline Connor said you were ignoring me. <laughs> she did not. She said. <laughs> she said what are I you know. Standing? I was standing my new decoupage. <laughs> oh. Is that what you decou uh, decoupage tonight? Yeah. Oh, oh that needle. That needle crap. Oh my gosh. I wanted to throw that out the window. Oh, I thought it was your daughter doing that and you doing decoupage. No. Well, you must have missed when I tried the needle stuff. Yeah, I'll have, I didn't get to watch it. Yeah, the needle punch. It was horrible. It's called needle punch and not needle point? No, needle punch. And what is needle? That's another thing. What the freak is needle point? Needle point is what Caroline Connor does, I think. No, that's cross stitch. She does cross stitch. What is okay. It, what is needle I'm point? I'm going to be doing cross stitch. Remember I, when? Yeah, I know. When I, get... I know. My daughter was doing cross stitch. Now, what's needle point? I don't know the difference. Neither do I. I. I Who knows the difference? You don't know the difference, Anna Patty? No. Oh, okay. I'm not a fan of punch needle either. I don't have the patience. It's more than just not having the patience. It's just, it's weird. She says it's in, so they made it up as an alternative to rug hooking. I'd rather do rug hooking if I was going to Oh, really? It. Yeah, that's what she says. Okay, I got a few of these, uh mystery things today. Are they really mystery or did you stick your finger in them? I opened them like, you know, we did before. Uh-huh. What do you think they are? Uh -huh. Care Bears? <laughs> do you think they're Care Bears? I think there's at least one. I had no luck the other day. None. Yeah. I went through a whole box of them. Really? Yeah. And you had no luck on a few of them? I had no luck out of the whole full box, however many's in there, I think I found one that's a Care Bear, and yeah. I think one might be that Stretch Armstrong. See, but I could be totally wrong. I only found, uh, I found nothing, and then at the very end I saw another box full, and I started to look in them, and I went through about half, and I didn't find any that my daughter was looking at me, so I had to leave. <laughs> hey, how in the heck did I just end up with army men? You did? Yes. How? I have no idea. You didn't check very well. Uh, I did. Obviously. Except that one, I guess. Because uh -huh. then I went and got another whole pack. But I was getting nervous because I thought, what if they're staring at me through a camera? <laughs> <laughs> a couple 
several times people that I saw them, the associates, they walked down the aisle and I'm like, I don't care because I'm just going, I'm buying them. What's your problem? I want to make sure, you know what I was going to say? I'm going to say, I want to make sure they're freaking in there because I bought these and they didn't have any in there. That's right. <laughs> well, that's true. Right? I don't want yeah. to get stuck with empty boxes. These feel pretty light. Mm-hmm. <laughs> There's your good There's reason. My... Yeah. Wait, 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 wait one, one minute, minute, one minute. Okay. Wait, one, one minute. minute. All right. You know what that means. Yeah. yeah Shelly's on her butt. <laughs> was it chilly? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Robin Swan says needlepoint is a type of canvas work, a form of counted thread embroidery in which yarn is stitched through a stiff open weave canvas. Okay, you use canvas and yarn. Okay. Then maybe that's what cross my stitch. Is. Thankful and grateful says cross stitch is just one kind of stitch cross stitched. Right. Yeah. I think my mother did both, but she didn't do embroidery. That must have been needlepoint that she did on me. What happened? You had to get Shelly off your butt. <laughs> Shelly just went to bed. Okay. Um, I figured yeah. it was Shelly that was the problem. Huh? Mm -hmm. uh? I figured it was Shelly that was the problem. <laughs> no, she's not. Yeah, she is. Don't lie. No, she's not for real. No. <laughs> she's still watching you, huh? <laughs> she is not a problem. That's not what you said when we were away. <laughs> no, that was Dave coming into bed. I was oh, letting him know mm -hmm. what we're doing. Okay. And how I end up with one of the little squish thingies. Oh my gosh, you really did I didn't... Put, did I put the one did I buy the ones that I meant to put back? Can you imagine? Excuse me, just a Oh my goodness. Shelly. Shelly. I bet mean, it's Dave. <laughs> mm hmm Yep. Everybody wants scooter. <laughs> scooter, you're on mute. You know that, right? Yeah, I know. Okay, just wondering. She looked like she was talking to us, bringing that box. Yeah, because. Dave's in here. I just want to wait until he gets in bed. Okay. Go into the bathroom. You know how men are. All right. Mm-hmm. Where, where is she in the bathroom? <laughs> where is she? <laughs> Go to are you in the bathroom, Scooter? <laughs> the freak is she? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Oh, man. Don't look, she said. <laughs> oh my gosh, how crazy. I need to get a paint. Alma's causing problems. She said, Boo could tuck Dave in. Oh. <laughs> Scooter is a wanted woman. Poor <laughs> Scooter. I know, Patricia, something's up. It, so you said Moo's not in here? No. She was. A long time ago. Oh, okay. Why? Oh. And you said that Brian Clan wasn't in here. No, she's not. Okay. Is that a good and Caroline thing? Connor? No, she went to bed. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. <gasps> Why, Scooter? Oh, no reason. Okay. I'm just did being you, silly. I'm being silly. Did you get a baby squirrel? No. Gosh, no. Oh. I wish. I wish. No. Sure didn't. No, ma'am. 
We thought maybe you and Caroline went squirrel hunting today. What in the heck? What did I do? Oh, you did that? You got all the ones you didn't want? That's what I'm starting to think. Oh my goodness. How many did you buy, Scooter? This isn't good. Um, <laughs> I only bought one, two, three. I only bought five. You've already opened three so far that are not what you wanted? Not what? No, they're not what I wanted. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> For a while, I was going, I used to go to the store, and I used to have, buy something that I wanted and then realize I didn't buy it. That at some time, I, and it, I was doing that for like six months. I don't know what the hell was wrong with me. Really? It was, it was like five years ago or so. Yeah, I would go to the store, and I would have something, and I'm like, okay, I want this, and I, and I don't know what happened. And I get home, and I realize I didn't have it, and I didn't buy it. It is so crazy. <laughs> I can't. <sighs> you must have been preoccupied. Well, because I. No, this has to be one right here. The Care Bear, because it feels like it. Because I returned so many. And, um, you know, I had three receipts. Mm -hmm. I had one from their store in Monticello. Right. I had one from Valparaiso, where mm -hmm. Caroline lives. And I had one from Erie, Pennsylvania, where we were the other night. And I returned, gosh. And they said, ma'am, oh, please, <laughs> this sounds like a just scam. <laughs> I know, right? Well, she gave me a, a gift card because I said, I'll just take it on a gift card. Right. I didn't want to put it back on my card. And so she gave me a gift card and she said, she started ringing up a couple more to return them. She goes, I'll put these on a separate card. And then she goes, wait a minute. And I said, what? And she goes, You've already returned. You have returned these twice. How do, how how would they know that? What do you Are mean? they did I return them to them and then they put them back and I bought them again? No. So what'd she say? She just put them on a I said, "Oh, really?" and that's when I went digging through my purse. I go, "Really? really? How, how would that, that even show up?" up? She's, She's like, like well, well, I'll just, just put them on a different card. card. It's no, no, no problem. problem. I'm like, uh, okay, I don't understand what she even meant. meant. I don't I don't get that okay, either. This is a Care Bear. I did get one, finally. Okay, let me try to guess the color. I'm seeing okay. blue or purple. I don't know why. But it could be yellow. But I'm seeing blue or purple. I don't know. I'm just thinking. A lot of yellow. I'm feeling blue or purple, but it could be yellow. I'm saying purple. I hope yellow. What? It's yellow? Oh, no. no. It's um blue. Oh, it's the same one I have already. Purple. Purple. Is that, purple. is that purple or pink? Purple. This is pink. This is pink. Oh. Pink has a what rainbow. What does pink have on there? Rainbow. On the stem. A rainbow. Oh, okay. Well, finally, though, I don't care what color it is. It's cute. Mm-hmm. You do Maybe care. this one is too. You do care. Now Shelly's going to take that one. <laughs> this is another. Oh no, an April? No, another squishy thing. Really? Yeah, I don't. I don't know how I did that. Oh well. I'm scared to return them. Oh, stop this. <laughs> and she made that comment. <laughs> You've already returned these. There was only two of them. Say, so, yeah, I have a lot of people that I bought them for party favors. Sorry. But I don't understand how she was saying to return the exact same two. I don't they understand keep, that. They keep track of it in their computer system. Don't they all have different numbers? You know, like the barcode thingies? Yeah, she probably didn't know what she was talking about. She just knows it's the same brand, <laughs> the same brand of item. She didn't know what's in the box. 
Tammy says return it without the receipt. You get it on a gift card anyway, and you're allowed to do that so many times. They don't, there's not a limit on the times? No, you're allowed to do it like three times without a receipt, and I don't know how long. I don't Tina think there's said, a limit. Tina said, tell well, them. Well, they didn't ask me my name or anything. So how would they know how many times I did it? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have to sign anything? Um, no, I don't think so. Robin said maybe maybe you return the same two again. <laughs> I just watch what I'm doing, you know, I'll bet. You'd be like, this is the third time. Yeah. You return these same ones. I keep finding more that I bought that I don't need. I did get these from the clearance just because they were squishy things. Which ones? I thought. You got which squishies? Did you get those balls? They didn't have the balls, right? No, they're not the balls. They're little animals. Where'd you get those? Okay, uh, Walmart. No, I know, but what section? The toy section? Well, you know, the clearance where they have clearance toys. Oh, I didn't see them. What it was they, only one they had. What are they Amazing look, Squishy. What do they look like? Series 2. Um, Friends Collection. I don't know. I'll open it How right now. How much were they? $2. Oh, there's only one in there. What page, what page are you on, Tammy? Oh, Aw. That is squishy. That is squishy. That feels wonderful. <laughs> I like it. They only just have, a switch. They only have one? Yeah, they only have one. Hmm. There might have been more somewhere. I don't know. I just got it for the heck of it. Only because I see you buy this stuff real cheap. Yeah. I thought, oh, I'll try it since it was squishy. It reminds me of those uh, peanut things that you eat. You know what I mean? Circus peanuts. Circus peanuts. Yeah. I had a kid that used to eat those freaking circus peanuts. Used yeah, that's to... what this feels like, but it's that's it's like that texture. Oh, gosh, I have a great idea. That's cute. Yeah. I'd never buy another one. <gasps> Tinker stuff. Oh, and they had more of these. Really? For seven dollars? For seven dollars at same Walmart. That's crazy. Is that the Is and, that, and that's the price that's on the shelf? That's the price on the shelf. That's crazy. Yeah. That's what wonderful. you know that's so strange i mean i'm not it's wonderful how many did you get oh gosh i still have some from before so i probably have six of these now to open which wow i know lucky stuff <laughs> speaking of did lisa d come in because i heard you say her name i didn't see her but she was like up early with the pt guy and nurse and the nurse <laughs> she didn't want the pt guy there for some reason i wonder why i wonder why too she was mad really she said yeah she said the nurse was coming she said i'll tell you what she said she said uh okay she said update for friday the home nurse came. She said everything looks good. In the incision and with the incision and healing. I'm glad about that. She was excellent. A nurse will keep coming to check on it and on me a few more times, so I'm glad about that. She was very nice too. It gives you good peace of mind. I loved your community post. You amaze me more and more and every day with your strength and courage and how much you do for others. Thank you for being you. 
Then she said, so now I'm apparently getting a home PT evaluation. I wanted to sleep so bad. Oh, well, I guess I have to go with the flow. And I said, oh, no, home PT? And she said, yes, with a big emoji that looked like, ugh. And Uh then I said, are you able to walk and talk? (laughs) And she said, I was a bit unsteady, and they sent me home with a walker and cane because they didn't want me to fall or something, but I thought I was past it. I guess they don't want to take any chances. I said, guess not. And she said, ugh. And then I said, you know, Judy with an I wants your address. And she says, okay, it's fine, and gave it to me. And then... I said, okay, and she said, I tried to go on last night, but I was too exhausted. I'll try tonight, but I guess she was too exhausted. Well, yeah, she's been through a lot. Yeah. I gave her some tips on swallowing. Oh, on swallowing? Yeah. A lot of times, um, if you can't swallow normally, if you tuck your chin down just a little bit, yeah, then you can get, then you can get food swallowed. Oh, okay. And she, she said it worked, so that was good. Oh, the PT guy or gal means pain. She can swallow now, right? Oh yeah, she can yeah. swallow now. Yeah. She reminds me of a Peanuts character. <laughs> <laughs> That's because I told you that that she looks like the girl with the natural curly hair. Yeah, what's that girl's name? She's the girl. Sally? Well, there's Sally, but there's the girl with the naturally curly hair that always says that. And that's Lucy? her name on the show. She goes, yeah, no, because she always says, oh, it's naturally curly hair. You yeah, know? Lucy. 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 No, not Lucy. <laughs> She's the boy that Charlie, uh, the girl that Charlie Brown likes. She's got brown hair and oh, she always says, yes, oh, it's my naturally yes. curly hair. And she always does that. You're right, yeah. No, not yeah, Peppermint and Patty. She doesn't have a name. Yeah. It's, if she's the girl with the naturally curly hair, that's what they call her. Hmm. Oh, she doesn't have a name? I don't think she... I'll, I'll tell you what her name is if she has... No, it's not Lucy. I'll show you her picture, okay? Yeah, I thought that was Lucy. She was always so stuck up. Oh, yeah, but Lucy doesn't have naturally curly hair. It's this girl. Thanks, KK Smithson. Her, oh, her name is Frida, and she has naturally curly hair. <laughs> What's the good of having naturally curly hair? She always says it, and it's all about naturally curly hair. <laughs> I'm serious. She's always talking about naturally curly hair. <laughs> yeah, I remember. Well, Lisa has pretty curly hair. Pretty yeah. curly hair. She does. Mhm. I'm waiting for mine to get curly again. When I start doing my infusions, my hair gets curly. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, so wow. I've, I've had two now again, so anytime now it'll start getting curly. <laughs> Here, here are some images of Frida. Oh, I just lost my images of Frida. Okay. Did you get to go swimming today? Yeah, but it was cold. The water was cold. It was so freaking cold. Was it hot outside? I didn't even realize they had the, her in there. Um, what? Was it hot outside? It was hot. It wasn't hot. Not hot. Like, I, it was warm. I, I needed to be, I you know, it's ridiculous. It's got to be hot. But the kids don't care, right? <laughs> Luke was like freezing and like crazy. It's cold. It was really cold. I mean, you normally I would get used to it, I but I was cold. 
And then Dan was all over the place. You heard what Dan did to Jimmy, right? No, what? You didn't hear? No. Oh. I haven't been able to watch all this. Well, day. here's what happened. When I was down at the dock, Jimmy comes down like this, and he goes like this, and he starts looking over at Dan's house, and I said, what are you doing? Because Dan had been there, and Dan was looking over, and Dan was being a jerk. And he goes, I'm just looking for the idiot. And I said... Why? And he goes, you never believe what he did. So apparently Jimmy was driving the car down the road and Dan was walking with his dog. And Jimmy rolled down the window and said, hey, Dan, I know we got a lot of stuff between us, but no hard feelings. I, re I really wish you well with where wherever you're going. And he goes like this. <gasps> Just like that. No, and he did it to the back like that. Like, like don't even talk to him, right? So then... Jimmy says, I wanted to tell him, hey, hey, hold right. He goes, but I said, all right, I'm just going to say. You know, so he goes, you know what, Dan? It's okay. I still wish you well wherever you're going. And he did it again. <gasps> <laughs> and then he told my cousin and Chris, the guy that helped him find the drone. And they said, what the hell is wrong with him? And then the other day... Uh, he was going to help Chris with something and he didn't realize Dan stopped there. So like Chris was like, he goes, I don't know what's wrong with him, why he's like that. And he said, I'm telling you, Jimmy, it's his loss. It's his loss. You know, he's just a jerk. Um, but yeah, they couldn't believe he did that. Can you believe he did that? I'm no. just saying, I just like, yeah, okay. Why even like, I don't know. He's, he's just a jerk. Wow. <laughs> I feel, I feel sorry, sorry for his, his new neighbors. neighbors. I hope he, you know, moves somewhere, somewhere where he's all by himself. Yeah, I know. He, he's, he's just such a jerk. I, I thought, thought it was Sam that, that was the jerk. jerk. He should have bumped him a little bit with the, with the car. <laughs> 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 um, oh, my gosh. You, you think he's mad? You think he's mad because he's moving? No, I know. I don't think that's what he's just a jerk. Because he doesn't have to move. I think he just probably retiring or something. They're probably moving down south or something, maybe. I don't know yeah, yet. There's been a lot of people there. And the realtor was over the other day, and I heard her say, Okay, guys, I'm going to go now. Congratulations. So why would she say congratulations? Unless somebody made an offer and, they, you know, he's not going to, we're not going to yeah. hear anything until it's a done deal. What about Stan? I always get Dan and Stan confused. Stan's dead. Huh? <laughs> the only Stan I know, he's dead. Recently? A few years ago. Why? <laughs> Who's Stan? Oh, I thought there was two different people. Maybe, one they, Dan and one maybe Stan. they were calling him Stan because they didn't want to call him Dan. I think that's what it was. I think somebody last year started calling him Stan because they didn't want to call him Dan. All right. Now it's good to think there's some big CO conspiracy. <laughs> But you guys don't know why they're moving. I I honestly think it's because I heard him saying something. I, I honestly think it's because, you know, they're probably want to go south. Or they're probably going to sell their house in New Jersey, too, I bet you. And then just buy something south. I don't you know. Live here year round? Are they permanent residents mm -mm. there on your mountain? Thank goodness. Oh, Thank goodness. Yeah. <laughs> no. No. Hi, my crazy life. Would you say life. the majority of the people up there are year-round or, or uh, no? No, like, like the guy that uh, found our drone, he just built a new house. Like where his house was, he knocked it. He's knocking it down and he built a new mm -hmm. house. And he's going, because like, we asked him, because he lives like an hour from here up north in Albany, right? Mm -hmm. And said, are you going to live here year-round? And he said, because he built a nice house, he said, well... I'm going to live here a lot more than I do now, but he's still not going to sell his house in Albany. So he's still going to, they have a daughter up that way. So he, he, that's what he says right now. 
but he says I'm going to be spending a lot more time here. So it won't be full time, but it's not going to be like a seasonal time. And then um, other people have come and, and moved, you know, in and spend a lot more time here. Some of them full time, some of them three quarters of the time. Like some of them live in Florida, but they only spend the winter in Florida and they stay up here the rest of the time. They, li they leave after yeah, Thanksgiving. Snowbirds. Yeah, like Moo's going to do, you know. Right, yeah. So, yeah. Where's snowbirds. she at now, by the way? She went to Niagara Falls. She sent me a picture. She said, are you around here? And I'm like, no, I, you have to make a legal <laughs> U-turn. Yeah. She went all she the way. She sent me that. It was hilarious. Yeah. I saw that. She went all the way up to the falls. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't think so, Whisper. Uh, I don't think he's getting a divorce because um, his wife was up here. He has, she's he has a, wife. a lucky woman. She is a lucky woman. <laughs> but she's just as nasty. Is she really? Oh, yeah. She's just as nasty. Let's hear some stories. She's just nasty. She's, I told you, did I tell you the time she came up to my house and let my dog in? And I don't my remember sister went yet. nuts. My, because she, my sister's like, what the freaking nerve? What if? That dog wasn't supposed to be in the house. And what if that dog went crazy that you let it in the house, right? And it tore up everything. Or what if I had a cat or a bird or something that that dog wasn't supposed to be around? She went up to my house and let the dog in. Can you believe that? And then no. she, my mother was alive at the time. And then she, and I was at work or something, right? And my mother was there, and the dog was not even being like it wasn't doing like it was. It was a beagle, and it was just like a occasional bark. And she said, "Wait, get this one. They come up here to relax, and they don't want to hear anything." So she marched herself up to my house and let the dog in. Was he chained or something, or was he just walking around? No, he was up in the yard. He was up in the yard, just like being a beagle and just whoop whoop. Just it was a couple, cause my, my my mother was here. She heard it, but he wasn't barking like, and you know, not stopping. Yeah. yeah. But they yeah. they couldn't take anything, cause they took the voice box out of their dog. Their oh, dog I can't bark. He goes like this. People. Yeah. He goes like this. <sighs> like he has like a. <sighs> he has no bark. <laughs> Golden retrievers. They take the the voice box out. So. Uh. She came up. And just let my dog in. And then this is when they first moved in, right? And then I don't know who went down there, my father or somebody. And she said, look, you know, we come up here to relax. She said, we have heart conditions is what she said. We're school teachers and we have heart conditions. Meanwhile, they're out there in the kayaks. Pat, I don't even believe any of it. And she's like, and we can't take that. We don't want to hear anything. We want complete silence. And so we let their dog in. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. How long have they had that place? Have they lived there? You know. Oh, gosh. Well, my parents were alive. So uh, let's see. My mother died in 2005. And let's see. We got Milo. When did we get Milo? Because Milo was the dog. Um, probably they moved here in 2001 or something. 2002 they moved here yeah boy you lost your mom at a really young age didn't you yeah I mean yeah, yeah my brother had her my oldest brother had her for gosh a long time yeah but um and then we had some real then we have a couple of really wacky oh my gosh we got this lady I don't know whether she's going through I don't know what she's going through she will say things and curse you out and then apologize. Like, I don't know she, what that is. Is that but, the older lady? No, it's these people that live close to us. They, they have a house. Now, this, listen to this one. They wanted us to sell them property <laughs> so that they could put a septic on it and um, have a full-time house because you cannot build on the lakeside now unless you own the land behind you. 
to put the septic on. And we owned the land, uh, my father did. Okay, he bought it all the way. He owns it behind all of these houses, right? So they bought a lot, a small lot. And they said, this is, this is what Dan went crazy about, okay? This is so crazy. Uh -huh. Dan didn't want a house on there. He didn't care what kind of house. He didn't care if it had the little septic tank that was by the DEC. He didn't want a house on it. So he wrote a letter on this on this on the Lake Association stationery to the uh, like to all these people up in Albany and to saying that it was the whole Lake Association saying we don't want this house being built here. And somehow it got back, and that's why he was ostracized, Dan. But meanwhile, then these people that asked us, will you sell us that land? And we said, no, we're not selling that land. Um, and so they were like a little bit, eh, because they couldn't put a full-time house now. Now they had to have one of these little septic tanks called a Honeywell or something, right? And they can only stay there 180 days a year. And believe me, Dan counts. Okay, Dan sits out in front with a notebook. No. I'm serious. And they have, and okay, and this lady used to be nice. Like she came up to me and she said, my biggest mistake with Dan, why he hates us so much, is I brought a fruit salad. I should never have brought it. I said, well, you should know better. You'll never win friends with salad. I actually told her this. <laughs> I said, you'll never win friends with salad. You should have bought brownies or cookies or something. But a fruit salad, it's not going to do it. So then she said, well, that fruit salad was the whole mistake. She said that that set the tone for the relationship. And she said, and then we found out he planted bushes and they were on our property. So then they started doing like all these crazy things. I'm surprised they haven't killed each other. They started putting like a rope on around the bushes to try to say they were theirs. You know, like they just did. They were doing weird things to each other. Well, anyway, somewhere in the mix, this, this lady got crazy, right? So listen to this one. They don't live here. The neighbor for, lady or, or Dan's wife? No, not Dan's wife. The neighbor lady next to them. Okay. They don't live here full time, okay? Right, They're from right. Long Island. And it was like February. And it was really, really snowy. And Jimmy couldn't get up the driveway. So he said, you know what, I'm just going to park the car down here in the road. And he was like a little bit on their driveway, but they weren't here, okay? And it wasn't anywhere that was blocking because she doesn't really have a drive. It's like right on the road, okay? She came up here. This is how she came up here. She knocked on the door. And she said, move your effing car right the F now. And he said, what? Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't even know you guys were up. I couldn't get up the driveway last night. I'm sorry. I'll come down and move it. And then he said, wow, what is wrong with her? And I said, I don't know. She said that to you? And Jimmy doesn't blow. Like, he doesn't make drunk. doesn't blow things out of proportion. So he was shaken up by it, right? So then about a day later, she called him up and she said, I'm really sorry that I... Um, came up that way I was just I was just in a mood and you know your truck was there and I just I flipped out right she didn't say why because I mean like that's what she just flipped out okay then one other time she said something to him like uh just like flipped out like that again over something stupid like uh I'm trying to think of what it was that time but it was the same kind of language like, and she's like this realtor and like this, she tries to be all hoity-toity, right? And then she just flips and she go, she told him something like something else. It was about move your effing, it was another thing just like that. Move your, and then she wrote me an email apologizing for something. And I said, you know, I don't know. I said, you guys, you know, we fought for you to build this house here. And we did. We fought for them to do it against Dan, what Dan said. You know, we were the ones that went to the and fought. And so we fought for you guys. You know, we look out for your house, and we always do. If something is going on, we have their number. We'll call them. I said, we, we look out for you guys. We, we fought for your house. We've always been nice to you. We didn't sell you the land, but that's just something we don't want to sell right now. But, you know, you could use friends like us, but you're really making it hard to be your friends. 
um, when you act like this. And she was, just, she's just, she's just nutty. She just does that. She just goes off. That is weird. Yeah. Crazy. She needs anger crazy. management. I think so. I think she, yeah, I think she's got like a problem. <laughs> Because mm-hmm. she, cause she'll usually like think about it the next day, but then maybe she's going through like menopause really bad, and she's like, I don't know, something's like really wrong with her. Because yeah, she's it may not be a good idea for Moo to find a place up there. <laughs> well, no. I said, I said to this one, the one before she flipped out the first time, I said, well, all these problems, Dan. I said he's going to sell his house. She goes, oh no, he won't. I said, of course he'd sell his house. Everybody hates him up here. How would you want to live in a place where everybody hates you? And I said, he can't even go to the lake meetings. Everybody hates him. You know, why? And she goes, do you think he'd really sell his house? I said, within, you know, and I gave her a timeline. I forget what it was. I said, within two years. And then she saw me and we bet a quarter. And she goes, you owe me a quarter. But now he's selling his house, so I was a few years late. Uh, yeah. Is that your excuse, Carol? Uh, Patricia, menopause? It might be. As some people get real irritable or something. I don't know. She, but she just was like went from Jekyll and Hyde. When Jimmy was so shaken up the first time she did that. I feel so bad for him. He doesn't deserve yeah, that. And she's this little slight woman. Like if you would see, like tiny little woman. And like, I'm telling you, like the, the typical realtor you see, right? That's always like, oh, and I can show you that house. And it's, it was like that serial mom thing. And they turn like Jekyll and Hyde. And uh-huh. so he sees her and he's like, hey, how you? Move your effing truck right now. You know, and he's like, what the freak? <laughs> Oh my gosh. Uh, some people with depression act like that. Yeah. So maybe she's depressed. I don't know. She's something. I, I don't know what she is, she's, but she's something. Um, yeah. I wonder if Dan kept up the house. Oh, he did. He, yeah, he, he kept up the house. He's got a nice place. I mean, he's got Dak is done and he's got a cantilever dock and, um, yeah. What's a cantilever dock? It's got like poles that go into your ground so it doesn't touch the water so you never have to take it in or out or do anything. It just stays above the water. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Ivy Lynn wants to know if it was Dan who took money or something from the Lake Association. No, it wasn't money, but he pretended he was acting on, on behalf of the entire Lake Association and he was getting the DEC to stop their house. He, he did, he stopped the construction of their house for like six months and nobody mm. knew why. And then somebody found the letter and that's why he got kicked out of the Lake Association. Bet you're glad he's getting out of there, huh? <laughs> to say the least. Yeah, but see like Jimmy's like, okay, no hard feelings. Good luck, where are we going? Does he have long hair? No. And you know what he told Luke once? Uh, Luke, Luke is like a character. So sometimes I like, is that really true? Luke looks like he's riding his bike past. And he goes, he goes, you know what Dan said to me? I said, what he said to you? He goes, get the F back to your house. <laughs> <laughs> I said, did he really say that? And then Jimmy's like going down there like, he said that? I'm going down there, right? <laughs> <laughs> and then he's like, Luke, did he really say that? And then I then I, I don't remember if he went down there that day or if he just said, you know, if he says anything else to you, you let me know. But like, they're just, they used to, I told you, they used to let their dog crap purposely on the walkway or in the driveway. My brother put these signs up and he ripped them down. Oh my <laughs> gosh, it was hysterical. <laughs> and I said, just take it shovel it and throw it on his walkway because they used to do that believe it or not they did that to this other guy that used to let his dog do that to all these houses the people started shoveling it over on his walkway they grabbed it in a shovel and they threw it on his walkway what's wrong with these people up there <laughs> oh my gosh but i said to jimmy tonight i said you know 
we keep thinking like there's nothing wrong with Dan, but look at these these ID discovery things and they have that neighbors that go crazy. Yeah, yeah. Right? I'm surprised Dan and the other two didn't kill each other or that he doesn't kill us. Because he's on stage. There's still time, so be careful. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know. Does anybody else have crazy neighbors? I know. Hello, Diana Mulroney. Hi, Diana. You Hello, Diana. Any, you don't have any crazy neighbors, Scooter? No. No. Not no. Thank goodness. Exactly. Glad he's not. This is what I keep to myself, just cordial to neighbors. Hi, Diana. I don't have my chat here. So, sorry. Yes, you hate your neighbors? Patricia. <laughs> <laughs> She's also the one that says she has really bad temper. <laughs> and the one is related to your stepdad? And Robin says, I am the crazy neighbors. <laughs> and Alma has perverted neighbors. How come I'm not surprised about that? And Ivy Lynn said she doesn't even know her name. No, who said she? Uh, Larry says, I don't even know my neighbors. They're all troublemakers, Patricia. My neighbor planted flowers right in front of my windows. They were irises for my daughter, Iris. Well, that's nice, right? You're not mad about that, are you? It is kind of... Well? At one house, we had two crazy neighbors, both elderly women. Did I tell you? Oh, I met, you missed this one. I think I know. I think I told no. Did I tell you that I was this? Okay, I was I was riding around on my bike, and there was a house on the other side. It's a seasonal house, and they, I think they live locally, and they have so a lot of family members that come and use the house. Well, these two girls, I don't know, early twenties maybe, getting into a car, and they're like, "Hey, how you doing?" I'm like, "Okay, good. How are you?" They're like, "Good." Um, they're getting in the car to go home and I they pull out you know they're in front of me and they go to this house at the end of the road and they stop their car and they scream Jesus loves you and I'm like what is that about you know because I, I don't know why they're doing that except that um it's a gay couple that lives there an older, oh. older, like the guy is like 85 and his husband is like 56 or so. But, and the guy's very famous. He's a writer. He, you know, my sister-in-law, he gave her these autograph books. The older one. Or the, the, older one. one the older one. And, um, you know, and he's a, he's a photographer and he, he's been all over the world and he's written a lot of books about like, uh, travel and stuff. We have, we have them. He's, he's a PhD and he. He just sees all over the place, but they're screaming that. And I'm thinking like, well, what the freak happened there? So I said to the school teacher that's gonna be Luke's teacher next year, cause I saw her when she was telling me that there were two people having sex on the picnic bench, uh, on, the, on the picnic table. She, I said, what's the deal with these two girls that went over there in front of Rick and Bob's house and were screaming, Jesus loves you. What, what do you think happened there? And she goes, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. That's weird. I know. Weird. It's got to be for the gayness. Something. But, I mean, I don't know why they, she was screaming like that. That's that's sad. I hope they didn't hear her. Uh, she screamed pretty loud. Yeah, Jessica. They did. She said that school teacher that Luke has... She lives up here full time. She said to me, I'm just telling you, could you walk around? There were two people having sex on a picnic table at the beach, which is a private beach, okay now? And uh, she said, and I went over there and I said, oh, look at this, disgusting. She goes, and you know, they got up and they sat on the bench 
And I said, yeah. And then she goes, and then they pulled away and I got their license plates and I don't know where they're from. I don't know. She, she, yeah. What a place. In broad daylight on a weekend with all people on boats and everything out on the lake. That's disgusting. I know. I said to my son, I'm like, can you even? He's like, are you kidding me? I said, no. He, I'm like, just out. The first thing I'm thinking of is splinters. Yeah. yeah okay i mean because it's like his rough picnic table and my son is like what the heck who would do that like you got to be on drugs or you got to be something's got to be wrong with you you know mm-hmm. so either or you're like an exhibitionist or something like that what the heck? yeah couldn't they at least cover themselves up right you, you would know, think like if you're gonna do that you go off in the woods in a blanket in woods, or something yeah. right yeah. i mean uh stay in the car I don't, yeah. I don't know yeah but out on the picnic table in broad daylight in broad daylight and and there were boats all it was a saturday there were boats all over the lake oh, my kids God. everywhere i'm sure yeah it was crazy that's so hard to believe i i can't believe it but she says she's like yeah i got their license plate i'm gonna go back and look and i'm like hey remind me not to be on that picnic table oh Oh, yeah yeah oh my gosh how weird very weird and then we've got the guy that's um so stingy and he's the guy that once owned the entire lake uh, his family the family yeah they own the entire lake okay at one time and, and it's the weirdest thing they owned the whole lake it was him and his brother and his parents had a general store down downtown they were really nice and then he lived i think in connecticut you know most of the year he had three kids they never built a house in the lake when their kids were small never um it's in fact both brothers never did but then their kids when they got older built houses the one's going to be luke's teacher and one built a house on the other side and then the parents finally built a house and it's not even on the lake it's like it's you would think crazy right they own the lake and they could they they live like right off the it's very weird location but anyway they built a house and he has blueberry bushes they're not they're just along the road they're not even planted by him they're that we have a lot of wild blueberry bushes you know what he does they're along the freaking road well when bruce's um daughter was really little apparently she was picking some blueberries not like just picking a couple of he chased her away he chased her away and now every year and this guy is like now he's probably like 90 something okay they put up like this that you know the tape and the and a posted sign between each blueberry bush and then his wife i'm serious and then his wife said something like because one day i thought somebody was stealing wood from them we were on bikes and i said you know hey hey that's private property that wood belongs to somebody and i told the wife and she says oh that's okay she goes they could take the wood you know she goes but it's the blueberries because he eats them all winter so he'll go out there with his can and i'm thinking like okay well how many blueberries is this little kid gonna take from you right because I yeah. have them, I have them right in front of mine, and people come here. I've seen people out there with a basket, and I didn't chase them away, right? Because it's like big freaking deal, okay? Yeah. They were on the side of the road, and he has like so all the way down the road, and he chased this little girl away. So listen to what we we're gonna do one night. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Jimmy and Michael and I think my cousin Bruce were all going to dress all in black black ski masks uh, sweatshirts, pants we were going to print out Ebenezer Scrooge heads on paper and put them on popsicle sticks right or not popsicle sticks sticks, uh, paint sticks and then put them in the ground in front of each post-it sign and they were going to go out like black ninjas and put them in there so nobody would see them in the darkness of the night and they would wake up in the morning and there would be all Ebenezer Scrooge heads. That would have been. Great. It would have been. Yeah. They were going to do yeah, they were going to do that. We talked about doing it cuz he's just so freaking stingy. 
That's crazy. Oh my gosh. That is crazy. Yeah. It is very crazy. It is. I was pick like there was a, this one place. It was so funny. My friend was like, because you go to the golf course, there's up and you can pick blueberries all the way. And then there was like the road that went beyond the golf course. And it, Ethan was little at the time. I think he was like five or something. And him and I were picking blueberries. And we, well, you can go to the golf course and do that. We remembers and stuff. And then we went on this little road. And I guess this guy and his wife came by and they said, "Are you picking our blueberries?" But they were joking. And I said. I am. Are they your blueberries? And he said, yeah. And he said, can you bake me a cake? And I said, yeah. <laughs> Where do you want it? And he then, then we, you know, we're laughing. And then and then, he, then he started telling me, he goes, goes over here, go over here. You can pick. Like most people are like that. There's like so many yeah. freaking blueberries. Yeah. It's not like, you know, he was laughing. We were talking for a while. That's how most people are. Okay. Um, but this guy is like just ridiculous. <laughs> Cause they're just along the side of the road. It's not like you're going like by their house and picking them. You know what I mean? They're just all along the side of the roads here. It's crazy. But this other guy, this other guy was a blast. That guy that I met then. Yeah. He, he was hysterical. Do you guys have copperheads around where you live? I've heard it. I've never seen them knock on wood. Yeah. Why do you have them just, there? Well, I just wondered because they like to hang out around blueberry oh, bushes. Oh, do they? Yeah. Oh, wow. I've got a lot of blueberry see, blueberry bushes in my yard and everything because they, they grow wild around here like crazy. Yeah, we have them here in Oklahoma. And they also like to eat cicadas. Oh, really? They love cicadas. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know if you guys have very many of those around. I don't know. I mean, I don't think so. I don't think very many, but yeah. So what are we doing, Scooter? You opened all your toys? Uh, yeah. You have any balls? No. I think I have a couple at home, <laughs> but not here. They didn't have any either today at uh, Walmart. They didn't have they just any have the mm -hmm. mm. No. No. They had another shipment of a whole bunch of toys that oh, we the were lady supposed, was... Oh, we were supposed to play a game. Let's play a couple of things of the game. Where's my thing? Okay. I got my second one here. So what did I do with the thing? I just had it. Exactly. Oh. Here it is. Forget what I'm going to do all the time. Nobody told me in the chat what we were doing. <laughs> okay, so this one is Famous University Nicknames, Top 10. So this would be, so I'll tell you, I'll give you a hint of what this would be like. This would be like, okay, um, the Fighting Irish, okay? That's what they're looking for, for Notre Dame. <sighs> Good night, Caroline Connor. Love you. Good night, Caroline Connor. We got the Fighting Irish, UCLA. Okay, they're actually looking, think more about their sports teams, the mascots, think about that. Yeah, think about the sports, the sports teams. Cheeseheads? No. Boomer Sooner on there? Indians? <laughs> nope. Think North Carolina. Ohio. 
Blue Devils, yep. Angie, you got that one. Fighting Irish we have. Uh, no Falcons. Think North Carolina. Uh, famous university nicknames, but think the mascots or the school teams. Panthers, so most, no. Most of Indians. Yeah, nope. Cowboys? Tar Heels, that's right. Uh, nope. Ohio, think it. But close, close, uh, Tina. In Cardinals? Nope. Think about Texas. Nope, not the Broncos. Bobcats, Wildcats. Uh, nope. Think about uh, a kind of horse or a kind of computer virus. The Mustangs. Buckeyes. Yep, the Bust the Buckeyes. Would you say Mustangs? Nope. Yeah. The Stallions. Wolverines. Yep, Wolverines. Bruins. Wild Longhorns. Yep, Longhorns. Um, Aggies. Trojans. Yep, Trojans. Um, no Aggies. No, we have three more. The Chihuahuas. <laughs> Think about um, corn. The Huskies. Think of it. Put it together. Corn Huskers. Yeah. Okay. And what does this one say? Bronco. The Buffalo Bills? No. Okay, think about... Uh, what is that? Did somebody say Trojans? Yeah, we got Trojans. Okay. Something with a V that ends in tears. Hmm. Nighty Lions, no. Mad Hatters, no. Corn Huskers, we have. Not the Cowboys. Dirty Dancing, no. I think, um. And the other one ends in Makers. Yes, whatever you're saying, the volunteer, whatever, the, vo the volunteers, yeah. The Vohan Tears or something like that. I can Okay, one more. It ends in Makers. Begins with a B. Yes, the Boiler Makers. Okay, there we go, Caroline Connor. That was that was weird. Looks like we're buffering. No, really? Let me see if it's just me. It must be, because it's I'm checking Streamlabs. Streamlabs. Uh, yeah. Okay. Let's see if it's... Uh, I love that dog, Scooter. Thank you, that's Tinkerbell. So sweet. Okay. Top 10 morning routines. So things you do, let's see, in the morning.
how how old do you think she is, Nana Patty? About nine or ten. How can you tell? Just looking at her eyes and her mouth. Oh, really? Mm hmm. Is she that old? No, she's only three months old. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Seriously, how old is she? She is 12. Oh, I was, yeah, I, I was off a little bit. The other two down on the floor that didn't want up here. Okay, get dressed, yes. Are older. No. Brush teeth, the, yes. Read the morning paper, yes. Uh, have a cup of tea. Uh, well, it's coffee. We'll take that. Um, did somebody say... Let me see. Exercise? Nope. Comb hair? No. Make breakfast? Not make breakfast. Um, go for a run. Get out of bed. Think about the first thing they do. Shower? You got shower there. Um, brush teeth? You got brush teeth. Put the dogs out? Yeah, no. Um, what is that? Go to the bathroom. Yeah, go to the bathroom. I'm going to say call in sick. No. <laughs> but there's something that wakes you up and you have to do something. Turn the alarm off. Yeah. And then what does everybody look at? At their, at their phone. Right. Check your phone. And then what do they watch? The news. Uh, eat breakfast. Got that. And watch TV. There you go. Tina. 3.35. Top, top, uh, top selling songs by Michael Jackson. Oh boy. I'll be right back. Okay. You're going to go look it up. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to get her albums. <laughs> Come on, guys. Michael Jackson now. Come on. Come on. Okay, hold on now. Bad. Let me see. Bad is there. Somebody said ABC. No. Beat it. Um, yep, beat it's there. Somebody Thriller. said Billy Jean. Billy Jean. Thriller, yep. Thriller's there. You're not alone. Uh, you're not alone is not there. Billy Jean, we already have. My heart will go oh. on. No. Who said that? Yeah. Tina, right? Alma, I knew it was one of them. I uh, said thriller. Okay. Rock with you. Yes. Black or white? Yes. P Y D. Ivory. Pretty young thing. Nope. No ever in the ivory. Nope. I'll be there. Nope. I always loved that one. Thriller we have, Leah. We are the world, no. Nope. Smooth criminal, yes, honey. Hi, Scott and Carmen. Yeah. Off the wall, yes, Ivy Lynn. Third mind being lazy scooter. 
Who's Eddie? Uh, Who's Eddie? Tina's like, Eddie, are you okay? Who's Eddie? Want to be starred in something? No. Mm -mm. The way you make me feel. Yes. One more. Dangerous. Nope. Diana. Ben. Nope. Somebody Dirty Diana? Diana? Dirty Diana? Nope. Yeah, they already said beat it. Yeah, okay. She's out of my life? Nope. Please, Mr. Please? No. <laughs> he didn't sing that. <laughs> Ice Ice Baby? No. <coughs> Ben, no. Who's Eddie? I have no idea, but Tina was asking if he's okay. Have you ever been mellow? No. Remember the time? Nope. Man in the mirror? Nope. Remember the time? No. It has the word till in it. Till. All right, Eddie, are you okay? No, Tina. Don't stop till you get enough right, Robin. There we go. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Do this one. Okay. Top 10 things annoying drivers do. Cut you off. It's here. Weird. Yeah, cut you off. Okay. They, you know what they need on this thing? They need a light because they have this decoder thing and it's... I'm going to have to get my own light like Moo and put it on here. Put on their brakes. No blinkers. Drive slow. Drive too slow, yes. Um, Honk their horns, somebody said. Honk their horns is one, yes. Don't go, too, go too slow and too fast. Yes, you've got too fast. Put uh, my cap on. Ride your arse. We'll put tailgate. Yeah. Um, did somebody say go through a red light, ignore traffic signals? signals? Yeah, I think so. Uh, somebody said, let me see, put on makeup, no. Um, Flick you the bird, Lisa H said. I saw that, no. <laughs> Don't. What about, let me see, talk on the phone, yes, that's one. High beams behind you, nope. Um, Is texting on there? Let's see. Let's or does it go under talk on the phone? Yeah, talk and text on the phone. We got those both. Okay. And now we got two more. Swerve in and out of lanes, no. Drive, yeah, don't use their signals right. Drive with blinkers on, yes. One more. I don't know if you guys will get this one. Eating? Slam on the brakes. It's close to slam on the brakes. They do something else with the brakes.
Something else with the brakes. Ride the brakes? Yeah, there you go. All right. Okay, top 10 search engines. What happened to Scooter? She left us. I'm here. Oh, okay. I know you're annoying. What? Nothing. You're anno we're annoying. <laughs> Sorry, we're annoying, Scooter. Top 10 what? search engines. Search engines? Yeah, like, you know, things. Yeah. That'll be fast. Google. Google, yeah. Bing. <laughs> Bing, yep. Firefox. Yahoo, yep. Firefox. No. No. Dog pile. Nope. Yahoo. We got Yahoo. Google we have. Microsoft Edge. Nope. Good morning, Scout Inquire. Bing, Safari, Yahoo, we have Ask Jeeves. No, we don't have Ask Jeeves. We have think about what it might have changed to. Duck Duck, yeah, Duck Duck Go, yep. Yeah. GoDaddyMatch.com, no. MSN, nope. Ask, yes, Tina, ask. Nope, no Siri. No Alexa. No Alexa. But there's a really old, think about, um, oh my God. AOL? Yeah. Do we have them all yet? No, but it's one, I, I don't, I don't think you'll ever get the, let me see. No Alexa. I I do. One begins with a W, and there's three letters. Sorry, I'm not sure. Oh my gosh, she's answering. <laughs> One begins with an E. You have AOL still. Okay, one is called Wow, which I've never even heard of. The other one is Excite, and the other one is My Web Search. Crazy. Never heard of those. No. Go to My Web Search. <laughs> what do you mean, your web search? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Do we do these? Oh, do we do these? Scared, are you going to bed? She's driving me crazy, isn't she? Well, not yet. A couple more minutes. Okay. She's so sleepy, <laughs> but she stayed up the entire ride home. Yeah. We're playing a game, Leisha. Okay. This is good. I don't know this at all, but maybe I know one. Characters from The Walking Dead. Everybody will get these. Not me. I would never get these. The only one I know is a pair of socks that I they get in the house, somebody. I don't know them. Yeah. I don't watch this show. I know. But they'll, they'll get them. A lot of them play. I watch this show. So somebody said Daryl. Yes. Rick. Yeah. Rick. Let's see. Yeah. Michelle. Uh. Who? Michonne. Yeah. 
dead. And of course, Carl. Carl, yeah. Carl Grimes. Yep. Someone said dead and Carol. Carol? Yeah, Carol. I don't see dead. That's how much she probably messing with us. No. Yeah, so I see there's nobody called dead. Zombie? Uh, Negan. Um, oh gosh, Negan. I've met him in real life a couple of times. Who? The guy, Jeffrey Dean Morgan, that plays Negan. Oh, I don't see him on here. Negan, he's got to be on there. No, he's not. He has to be. Well, he's not. It's the top ten? Mm hmm. You're sure? I, I am. John's so the governor. Glenn? Yeah, the governor is there. Oh, yeah, Glenn and Maggie. Uh, Maggie's there, yeah. And Melanie? You said Glenn. Okay, and then no Melanie, but there's a, uh, let's see, no. Oh, yeah, that, no, 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 I think they said no. There's two more. Who? Who? Eugene. Eugene, no. Oh, oh the, the army guy, guy the, the army dude. dude. What's his name? He's got, got the, the red right hair. hair. I, I met him, too. What's his name? He got, got killed along, along with Glenn. Glenn. I thought you said these would be easy, Scooter. <laughs> one begins with an H, an H, and one begins with an M. Henry? Nope. It's a really, really, really old name. One begins with an N? With an M? And one with an H. Oh, oh, oh. Edward Hubert? No. Oh, 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 the old guy. Yeah. The old guy. I guess. Merle. Merle. Merle, yeah, Merle. One and, uh, with an H. You got it. You almost, you almost had it. You almost, Herschel, there it is. Okay. Herschel, yes. yes. Sure. Okay. Yeah, that, that was a lot. Uh, you guys, long time on that one. That was going to be so easy. Okay. Oh, top stop. 10. This is this top 10 things used by crafters. Now oh. this one will be easy. Not there yet. Glue gun, let me see. Mm -hmm. uh, you would think so, but it's not there. Fabric? Hot glue, no. Scissors, yes. Scissors. Let's see. Paint. Um, fabric, somebody, you said fabric, right? Fabric is there. Uh, napkins, paper, no. A oh, paper, yes. Hold on a minute. Paper, uh, stones, wood, paint, glue, flowers, beads, mod podge, clay. Nope. Uh, cardboard, needles, wool, fabric. Paintbrushes. Tape. Nope. Uh, tin cans, canvas. Nope. Knitting. Nope. Yarn? Uh, yarn, yes. Yarn, I just saw that. Where's the yarn? Yep, yarn is there. Be right back. I'm going to brush my teeth. Okay. Tools, Dollar Tree. Felt pens, I'll give it to you. Markers are there. Um, Napkins, somebody said. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, well, they don't know how to craft. 
No. <laughs> Markers we got. Pencils, no. Uh, what do you put stuff in? Guys, ribbon, toothbrush, scissors we have. Patience. Scissors we already have. Yarn we have. Twine, no. Uh, jute, uh, nope. Needles? Nope. Stencils? Uh, nope. Anti cuckoo. Glue containers. Well, I'll give you that. Storage bins. Okay. Top 10 things used by crafters. Thread, nope. Bottles, work area, nope. Baskets, nope. Vodka, no. No, no. Stickers, nope. Glitter, yes. Okay, got glitter. Think about beads, no. Lots of money. <laughs> yeah, just for sure. Stencils or no, string rope, etc. no. Cricket, no. Tape, no. Mesh, no. Think about um, kind of board that you put ideas on. Handcuffs. Pencils, wires, buttons, scrapbook. Like a wish board? Well, like an image, an image board. Yeah, and then um, if you're doing any type of upholstery or you're putting these little nails, they're called something with a V. You have a gun usually that shoots them. I don't know. Not a staple gun, but it shoots these little nails. It's not a nail gun? No, they're called something with a B. Brad's right, Caroline Connor. Okay, and then um, they used to have big parties where people, Tammy should get this, where you go scrapbooking, but you use something that you press down on and it leaves an image. You dip it in ink. You press down on it. It's a rubber on the bottom usually. Stamps, yes, Jendo. Well, all right, one more before we go to bed. Let's see. Um, let's see, let's get a new one over here. Okay, top 10 Girl Scout cookies. I bet I know what the first one is. Yeah, right. You gonna say thin mm -hmm. mints? Thin mints. Yep. Mints. Yep, we got them. Thin mints. We there. They're there. Okay, everybody's gonna say thin mints. Mm -hmm. uh, S'mores, hold on, Thin Mints, I think Samoas you mean, right? Uh, let's see, they should definitely be here. Mm. Peanut butter. Let's see what they are. What is that, a little Well, the like peanut, peanut butter ones here? are called something, they're not called peanut butter, they're called uh, and then you're saying savannas, they should be here, but I don't see those either. Oh, the savannas, yeah. 
Ah, uh, shortbread. No. So, some people are saying lemon. Yeah, they're lemon. They're called something else. Lemon. Drops. Lemon. Lemonade. No. Tagalongs. There you go. With that's the peanut butter ones are called tagalongs. And then the shortbread are called something else. They're called the sign. It's the sign for the Girl Scouts. Lemonades, yes, Kathy, those are them. And tray foils, yep. And then think of square dancing. Do see do? Yes. <laughs> Two more. One begins with a T and one begins with an R. Oh, excuse me, and there's one more with a T. Dosey dos we have. <laughs> Toffee, yes, I'll give it to you. Toffee Tastic. I've never even heard of those. Tagalongs we have. I've gone blank. Scooter, what are you doing? I am all running wants to know what you're doing. Just watching. <laughs> you look like you have tired eyes. <laughs> raw, raw somethings. And then, I want to know if you're trying to tell us the answer using Morse code, Scooter. <laughs> and then something that means three. Or a singing group of three people. A trio? Yes, trios. One more. I never heard of never these. Never heard of those trios. Bra bra something. Nobody They're likes such them. Weird Nobody likes the bra bra something Girl Scout cookies. <laughs> I can't even read what that word is. Bra bra <laughs> raisins. That's what it looks like. I swear that's what it looks like. But I think it's. Raw raw raisins, is that really what it's called? Never even heard of that. I'm gonna give it to you. I've, I've never, never heard, heard of it either. either. Yeah, raw raw raisins or something like that. I have never heard of those. Oh, Me either. Never. I'd like to see what one of those are. Raw. Winter. <laughs> oh my god. What is she doing? A lot of those are clean. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. Oh, my gosh. Did you ever see those fake things that it says, like, earwax candle? And it's just a box, and it says that, and you're supposed to put somebody's gift into it? They've, they're no. fake. Yeah, they're fake boxes 
of like really gross things. If you look on Amazon, it says something like earwax candle. <laughs> and the whole outside says oh. it's this. But then you put the, the real gift inside. You've never seen That'd that? Be fun. Yeah. That'd be fun to do. Yeah, and they have a few of them and they really look real. Like it looks like one of those Ronco products and it's like earwax candle and they go through this whole thing about how it burns oh. longer than yeah, oh it's hysterical. And it's just a gift box. We play Dirty Santa. I need to get some. Yeah, you have to. They're on Amazon. It's crazy. Yeah, there's like earwax candle and you just put the, the gift in it. Mm-hmm. Right? I have one of those, Tina says. Like knee yeah. skin. <laughs> like skin um, clothes for dolls. <laughs> Made of skin. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah, Gigi, I'm no serious. Here and they're all gone. So I have to get burnt again to. I don't have any more. I made a dog thing today. What's that? I made a decoupage of dogs. Did, Did you really? Cute? Yeah, look. Where, did, where is it? It's in my hand. Look. Oh. It has all dogs on it. Oh, cute. Scooter, who wants your vase that you made? And... <laughs> <laughs> These are, I'm getting, Nobody's won it yet. I'm getting Where's giveaways our, together. Yeah. These are going to be giveaways. Then, and then I'm going to get... Uh, I've got to finish... Put, finishing touches on them but this one would be cute i was thinking with putting the uh the little um scotty once i paint him black if i put him on top of it oh looks good. that would be cute Wouldn't it? very cute mm -hmm. can we see if you have any tin hair before you do that oh i do I was trying to get them pulled before I met Carolyn the other day, and I didn't succeed. Oh my god! So I had this real long one. <laughs> Caroline Connor <laughs> cut it with the shears. <laughs> so I was get trying to pluck them in the car. She what? I was trying to pluck them, you know, oh, in you? her jeep. In her jeep. You know, How, nice. How nice! How <laughs> nice! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god maybe those were your chin hairs on her bathtub <laughs> they're pretty long <laughs> oh my god oh that was disgusting <laughs> I'm glad I didn't see them Oh. Hey, Angie Jones wants to know if we ever ever chose a winner for the ball project. Oh gosh, I have to get that on. <laughs> oh, I no, I have to make the shirt. I have to make I'll make the shirt. I will get on it. Just keep reminding me, Angie. You're good. Keep reminding <laughs> me. I've got to get that shirt made. Once I get the shirt made, then we can vote. I am because I want it to be like that other one, but they have to say like. I had the best balls on Mommy Ramblings or something, or um, something. I, I'll, I'll get the shirt. Thank you for reminding me. What would I do without you, Angie? Thank you. There we go. I just have to put a top coat on that. Okay. All right, uh, Night Linda Irby. Um, I'm gonna go to bed too. You were shaving. Christina, <laughs> gosh, <laughs> Tina, Tina, Tina. <laughs> you have gosh. one super that you won't let you you wear it around there, Alicia. You will wear it. She wears one. She just leaves it. She wants everybody to put, want to pull it, Alicia. Oh gosh, oh, Alicia, really? You want that shirt open some balls? Well, you had to enter the contest. You're too late. 
Sorry, you're a ball short. <laughs> you're a day late and a ball short. Sorry. Uh, it sounds like mommy is saving a tree down. No, I was just then I just cleaned up the bottom of this with the nail file. But you have some other another shirt that says something about balls. Yeah, don't yeah. You? It says um, what does it say? Um, I showing my balls off or something. What does it say, Scooter? Shake my shake your balls with mommy, something like that. Yeah. But mm -hmm. I want the one that you they win to say something like I had the best I I was voted best balls on mommy ramblings or. I have one coming. It just hasn't. Or mommy yet. said I had the best like uh, I was voted the best. Like I've got to think. You guys think of the thing. Someone just said I had the best balls on mommy ramblings. Yeah, or. I was voted best balls, but you wanted to, to know they're the winner. So I was voted, I won for the best balls on Mommy Ramblings. Um, winner of the best balls on Mommy Ramblings. Yeah, just think about it. I'll ask you tomorrow. Angie, remember. I know. Alma, I dragged me down the driveway. Look what I did with my balls. Oh yeah, look what I did with my balls. Look what I did with my balls, right, but my balls were the best. How would they, but that wouldn't mean they had the best balls. Mommy, mommy, Mommy liked my balls the best. <laughs> <laughs> and Jimmy's going to say, oh my gosh, what are you doing? <laughs> Putting that stuff out there. Um, <laughs> Mommy liked my balls the best. <laughs> oh my gosh. Mommy, really? Yeah, let's... Let's not have that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Scooter's <laughs> obviously on drugs tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Did you, did, did, what's her name? Bring her babies? Scooter? I don't think she's led. I'll have to ask her in the morning. She's going to want, you better hide the purple of Care Bears. I know, I better, right? She's going to take them. I know, I'll hide them. All right. All right, guys, thank you for coming. Thank you in the chat um, for coming, and thank you for the moderators. Thanks, Nana Patty. Thanks, Scooter, for playing. And uh, Thank you, Carolyn. We'll see you. Yeah, thanks, Nana. We'll see you guys nice tomorrow. Day, hey, Augie. Augie. Thank you, Augie. Thank you. Um, we'll see you guys tomorrow. My balls are mommy's Love favorite. <laughs> it's horrible. Oh, my gosh. Okay.